Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Sivatan Kamani, an integration technical architect. While working with the MuleSoft project, sometimes it could be 3.8 or 3.9, there are some complex functionalities to be implemented which you normally find difficult to implement uh, using direct components available in 3.8, 3.9 or uh, 4.x. So in that situation, uh, you might need to go for uh, plain old Java way of uh, implementing this complex uh, function in the form of a Java class where you will introduce uh, several different functions to uh, deal with uh, data or uh, functionality. So once you have that uh, Java project created which can be reused across uh, uh, multiple Mule projects, you might need to uh, implement it uh, in the form of jar file and based on the features you might need to decide uh, artifact ID and version and uh, it's a good idea to put it in a common place like uh, Nexus repository and then implement it across uh, different uh, MuleSoft projects. So we are going to see how to install this uh, 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 jar file created by you or jar file provided by third party into the Maven repository. Let's get started. So I have created a, a simple Java project by means of uh, file new and then you can choose Java project. So uh, this project is basically contains only Java classes under the specific uh, uh, package. So you can uh, create a new package under which you can create a class. So I added a simple class called uh, greeting class and we have a message uh, and uh, there is a provision to uh, set the message and get the message. So this class I have created it for a demonstration purpose but uh, in real time, you might not need uh, such a simple class, but rather uh, you will have uh, uh, different features in terms of functionality. So normally these type of uh, reusable functions will have only functional logics and won't deal with uh, um, database to read the records, etc. So we will assume our implementation is complete and we are going to export it as a jar file. So right click and then uh, export and you can choose under Java there is a jar file and uh, you can choose uh, this is the uh, project which we are going to export and you give the name of the folder and the name of the jar file and then click finish. So uh, by this method uh, we have created a, a greeting Java class dot jar under this particular folder. So now we are going to see how this uh, jar can be reused by distributing it uh, under uh, uh, Nexus or central repository by installing as uh, third party or a native jar so that uh, rest of the members can uh, refer this jar in terms of group ID, artifact ID and version and further they can use it in their project without uh, having to rewrite this uh, in a redundant manner. Let's look, take a look at the command. So there is an install command uh, for Maven which you can uh, refer the website on guide to installing third-party jars. You can just simply copy paste and I'll explain uh, the different uh, parameters that are used. So we are using the file name and you need to specify uh, where the file name is and uh, you need to have group ID. You can uh, design your own group ID based on the um, based on the purpose and the functionality you can give the uh, group ID. And you have to give the artifact ID which I have specified as a greeting. Normally artifact ID deals with a specific uh, functionality but uh, group ID will specify the location of the project uh, which is in terms of package name. And finally you need to give the version name and based on the feature uh, you can decide which version it's going to be. So I have specified uh, the group ID under uh, uh, group ID parameter the parameters need to be specified with uh, a hyphen uh, D, it should be a capital D. And uh, artifact ID I am giving under uh, uh, artifact ID and uh, version you need to give under the version. It's a very simple uh, Maven command. And also you need to specify the packaging structure in which uh, uh, this jar is going to be uploaded, uh, which is basically it should be a jar file. So let's copy this 
and let me execute it. So I, I have already created this uh, uh, to for testing purpose and uh, I'm going to create it under a different version. Say let's call it as 1.0.1 and enter. You can see here this uh, uh, maven install command has been executed successfully and the build is successful. So let's go back to the local repository under M2 folder. So this is my local repository um, under which I am exploring the repository folder under, under which you have to go for the specific package name which is com under dot com you have Shiva and I have there are uh, uh, two projects that are built already and the latest one is which uh, we have installed just now under which you can go to the uh, version 1.0.1 .1 and you can see greeting.jar. So now let's see how to use this uh, uh, in our uh, Mule uh, 4 project. So I'm going to use uh, one of the existing project uh, which is already created. So under which uh, I'm going to open a palm.xml file and there are some dependencies uh, that are already available. So I'm going to copy this and uh, I'm going to paste it to have uh, uh, this new jar uh, added as a dependency. So I'm going to have a group ID which we have already selected which is called com.siva and uh, artifact ID is greeting. We will copy that. And the version that we have is uh, 1.0.0 .0 and 1.0.1. .1. So I have uh, used this uh, 1.0. version and I'm going to build now. Let's start the project. So the project is now up and running and uh, it's uh, built and deployed successfully, which, which would indicate uh, that this particular dependency that we have just added, which is com.siva.greeting should have been already added into the target folder. So let's investigate whether it is added successfully or not. So I'm going under uh, this project and uh, we'll go to the target folder and we will go under the repository and uh, see here it's com shiva greeting 1.0.1 .1. this jar is successfully added so uh, since it's added already successfully so now you will be able to use successfully in your uh, uh, existing project and you will be able to reuse the functions that are implemented as a part of the uh, dependent jar that's it in this video. Hope you liked it and felt useful. And uh, if so, please encourage me by your likes and subscription. I'll come up with more useful videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.